Hello everyone. Today again, Manisha Bansal is here to sort out the queries of my children. I hope so. My all the students are fit and fine, and they are safe inside their homes. So, children, as yesterday, I have given you the assignment to do the square root of the decimal form, and uh, it was solved by me also. Today again, I am here with the square root of the some natural numbers which are not the perfect squares. which are not the perfect squares perfect squares means some remainder will be there right some remainder will be there it will be not be properly divisible right and uh, as i have said square root of natural numbers right so let me take one natural number that is 7 and as we know it is in the book of dev publications also i am trying my level very best to sort out some questions from the worksheets so that my students get more confident to see the solutions as during this lockdown period my students are at home and uh, this is a new chapter for class 8 so i am trying to do some sums from worksheets also today i have taken square root of 7 square root of 7 this is question number 4th of worksheet Five of chapter first, right? Statement is find the square root of the following. Correct to three decimal places, right? Correct to three decimal places means in the answer after decimal three places must be there. But here we can see here it is a single number. So how we will get any answer after decimal? Okay, let us. Place the decimal ourselves here. Seven means seven point seven point zero zero zero. Any number of times with zero we can take, but it is said in the question that we have to take it three decimal places. Three decimal means three pairs. Means one pair, second pair, and the third pair. Correct. So, so should we start? Yes. The first step was to place the zeros in pairs that we have done. Next is to make the pairing of the number. It is same as I have told you yesterday. This is a whole number. This is a whole part. This is the decimal part. And moreover, it is a single digit here. Okay, let us start. And here we have already done the pairing. Okay, so it is seven. One ones are one, two twos are four, three threes are nine, which is bigger. So let me start with two. Two twos are four, right? Seven minus four, it is three. Decimal will be shifted here in the quotient, and I'll take my first pair of the zeros. Two plus two, four, right? Now this is a three hundred, and I have. Suggested you yesterday also that rough work is very important in maths work. So make a rough work column. It is now four, and I am having three hundred. Means I have to place something here and here with four, so that I may get the number either equal or less than three hundred. Let me try. First of all, let me try with four. Four fours are sixteen. One carry on. Carry forward four four sixteen and one seventeen one hundred seventy six is excess less than three hundred. Let me try with seven. Seven sevens are forty nine nine here. Four carry forward seven fours are twenty eight and four three twenty nine. Oh, it is bigger than three hundred. Means I'll go along with six. Let me try with six 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 are thirty six six and three here. Six fours are twenty four plus three twenty seven. Okay, children, this is my one suggestion. Never take a shortcut in mathematics. This rough work is very, 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 very important. Whether you are in class eight, whether you are in class tenth, or you are a child of class three, but children, rough work is very important. Some students in hurry, they are skipping it. They are doing the calculations in their mind, which is wrong. 
सो प्लीज मेक योर हैबिट वेन एवर यू आर प्रैक्टाइजिंग योर मैथमेटिक्स एट होम दिस रफ कॉलम मस्ट बी मेंटेन बाय यू साइड बाय साइड वेरी नीटली बिकॉज वेन एग्जामिनर इज चेकिंग योर आंसर शीट एग्जामिनर इज इफ यू पीपल आर डूइंग एनी मिस्टेक हियर इन द आंसर पार्ट एग्जामिनर इज ऑल्सो समटाइम्स चेकिंग योर रफ वर्क वेरी केयरफुली ओके सो फोर्टी सिक्स इज डिविजिबल बाय सिक्स एंड आई गेट I have placed six here. It's okay. It means two seventy six here. Okay. So three uh, yes ten. I'll just borrow here. It will be ten minus six four, and it will be two here again. One more pair I will take. That will be double zero, and here forty six plus six that will be fifty two. Correct. And uh, now next my. Step is I am having fifty two here, and I want the number less than twenty four, equal or less than twenty four hundred, right? If something I will place here, see verbally I can do here. If I will place five here, five five is a twenty five hundred means near by twenty more than twenty five hundred. My answer will be here, but I want less than twenty four hundred. Should I try with four? Four, four four is a sixty. One, four two is a eight and one nine, four five is a twenty. So it is very clear. If I will do with five, five five is a twenty five hundred, which is more than that. So let me do with, let me try with four. Clear? So it is two thousand and ninety six. Twenty four hundred minus two thousand ninety six. One uh, borrow we have taken. This will be ten ten minus six four ten minus. It is nine here. Nine minus nine. It will be zero. It will be three here. So it is three, and I will take the next pair of zeros also here with me, and it will be five hundred twenty-four plus four. It will be five hundred twenty-eight. Got it? Means five hundred twenty-eight. Something I have to place here and here, which should be same, and I must get the number. Equal or less than thirty thousand and four hundred. See again, if it is thirty thousand, means if I will place five or five, five five is a twenty five. If I will place six, somewhere maybe it is six five is a thirty. So let me try with both five and six also. Five five is a twenty five. Five two. Five eight five is a forty two. Forty two two. It is four. Five two is a ten in four, fourteen in one, five one is a five five is a twenty five in one. Carry forward that is twenty six. Means it will be twenty six thousand four hundred and twenty five. And if I am trying with six, six six is a thirty six six. It will be three here. Eight six is a forty eight and three. It will be fifty one one here in five. Carry forward. Six two is a twelve. Twelve in five seventeen seven and one. Six five is a thirty. Thirty and one. This is thirty one. Oh, it is greater. See, this is thirty thousand and this is thirty one thousand. It means I have to go with five. Five will be placed here and again five here and my answer will be twenty six thousand. Four hundred twenty-five. Now I have to do the subtraction. One borrowed ten. Ten minus five, five. It will be nine. Nine minus two, seven. It will be thirteen. Thirteen minus four, it will be nine, and it will be nine here. Nine minus six, three, and two, two minus two, zero. It will be okay. But children, I want to make the sum is over. But I want to make you one thing more clear here. Please, if you are a DAV student, you you are having the book of DAV publications, then please check the examples very carefully. Example number eighteen and example number nineteen. In example number eighteen, it is given the word find the square root of three up to three decimal up to three up to three decimal places only, right? Example number nineteen is saying correct to two places of decimal. The same it is said in the question number four, correct to three decimal places. If the word is used correct, children pay your attention. Two things are here. 
simply up to three places, three decimal places, yeah, correct to three decimal places. If it is correct to three decimal places, it means after three places, one more place we have to do first. It means I have to take one more pair of zeros and I have to follow the same procedure for the whole sum. 5285 plus 5 it will be 5290 right means 5290 I have to place something here and here so that I may be able to get the number equal or less than 397500 again it is 39 it is 5 May I go with 7? Let me try. 7. 7 7s are 49. 9, 7 9s are 63. 3 6. 7 2s are 14. In 6 20. 0 2. And it will be 5. 7 5s are 35. In 2. It will be 37. Oh yes. It will go with 7. It will be 1 here, it will be 5 here, it will be 1 here and uh, it will be 7 and 2. Got it? Now children, you may ask, Ki ma'am, why we have taken the 4 places of uh, decimal here when it was said in the question only and only for the 3 decimal places? Yes, my dear children, now see what we have to do. Now we have to see the last digit. We have to see the last digit very carefully, which is here in the answer. That is 7. That is 7. Fourth place of decimal, which was not asked in the questions, but still we have calculated why. Now see, if this 7 is greater than 5, obviously 7 is greater than 5, then we have to increase this third place of decimal this is called correct it means if it is 2.6457 this last fourth digit is greater than 5 it means this third place of decimal will be increased by 1 means the correct answer will be 2.646 Got it? So our correct answer is 2.646 and suppose, suppose instead of 7 we are getting here 3 or we are getting here 4 which is less than 5 then this digit will remain same. I hope so clear. Yes. So please, it is my request to you all, try the sums, do at least 4-5 sums of the same type. Even if you are having any problem, don't worry, send me your queries. I am always with my children, always with my students. Good luck children. Thank you.